Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. If you're preparing to take the Praxis Core Math Test, Course 5164, then let's work through some of the types of middle school math problems you may find on the exam. All right, let's get to the first question. Which of the following is the domain and the range of the function? f of x equals the absolute value of 2x minus 7. Let's get going. The domain is the set of all possible inputs to the function, and the range is the set of all possible outputs of the function. If you look at our function f of x equals the absolute value of 2x minus 7, we can take any value for x from minus infinity to plus infinity and input it into our function and receive a result. This is shown with the two examples, if x equals minus 10 and if x equals positive 10. Therefore, the domain of this function is minus infinity to plus infinity in terms of the output because the answer is always the absolute value and therefore positive, the answer can only be zero or above. Therefore, the range of the function is zero to positive infinity. And there you go. For a second question, identify whether r equal to the following set of data points is a function. The easiest way to demonstrate this is to plot the points to see the type of function we are working with. In this graph, I have plotted the points and it's clearly an inverse linear function, which can be defined by the function y equals negative 4x over 5. Therefore, the range provided is a function. For the last question, we are provided two line data sets. We are asked to provide the slope of line A only. To determine the slope of the line, we look at the rise over the run, or y over x. This is the difference between two points on the line. Slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Taking any two data points, 1 minus 3 over 2 minus 0, we get negative 2 over 2, which is equal to negative 1. And there you have it. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you can get a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the exam. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on test day. Bye for now.